Hello. The purpose of this video is to give a quick rundown of the organelles of a cell. For this video, I will be using a eukaryotic cell. A eukaryotic cell has a nucleus, and to be more specific, I'll be using an animal cell, so I won't be using a plant cell. So the outside of the cell, this is called the cell membrane. The cell membrane, also known as the plasma membrane, controls what goes in and out of a cell. Then we have the nucleus. The nucleus inside the cell is where the DNA is stored, and usually the DNA is all strung about, and we call this chromatin. And so the DNA is found in the nucleus of the cell. Outside of the nucleus, we have the endoplasmic reticulum, which is this membranous folded network where proteins will be made. And the first endoplasmic reticulum is called the rough endoplasmic reticulum, or rough ER for short. And it's called the rough ER because it has all these little red dots all over it. Well, they're not really red, but I'm drawing them as red. It has all these dots all around it, and those dots are actually ribosomes. Ribosomes make protein. And so it gives this appearance that this ER, this endoplasmic reticulum, is rough because of these dots. And so the ribosomes are making proteins into the rough ER. Right outside of the rough ER are these nice smooth tubes, and this is the smooth ER, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is making lipids, also known as oils. And so all of the human oils um, that you're creating, you're making inside your smooth ER, and so are the other animals. And so the smooth ER is going to make hormones or any type of oil or wax or anything that your body or cells need. The smooth ER is also a place where things get detoxified. And so this together is the endoplasmic reticulum, the rough ER and the smooth ER. There's also another membranous body called the Golgi apparatus. So the Golgi apparatus's job is to package and ship things. And so the rough ER will make proteins and then send it to the Golgi apparatus. And the Golgi apparatus will package those proteins into a little bubble that is called a vesicle. And so you have these proteins that are inside this vesicle, and then those might exit the cell. And they will pinch out of the cell, which is called exocytosis. And so the Golgi apparatus's job is to package and ship things that are going to be sent throughout the body. And again, it ships in things called a vesicle. Around your cell, you also have this organelle that is called a mitochondria. The mitochondria used to be nicknamed the powerhouse of the cell, but the mitochondria makes energy. It makes ATP. And so ATP is the energy source that all living things use. And so the way that you're making that is through your mitochondria. We also have things like a flagella, depending on the type of cell. And so a flagella would be a tail that is used for movement. This will help you, um, especially if you are a cell that needs to move or needs to move liquid that is around you. Then we have organelles, depending on the cell, some organelles um, that are called cilia. Cilia is little hair-like structures all around the cell. This can also help for movement, but it can also help, again, moving fluid around the cell. So like the cells inside a throat will have cilia all over them to help move liquid up and down. There's also a network of tubes throughout the cell that we call the cytoskeleton, and this helps hold the shape of the cell. It is also where the vacuoles, uh, the vacuoles will travel and so we have vesicles and vacuoles inside the cell that will travel on this cytoskeleton. If you are a plant cell, you will have all these organelles and a couple extra. A plant cell has a cell wall, which is fibrous and harder to penetrate than the cell membrane of an animal cell. It'll also have what's called a central vacuole, which is a big storage area for water. And then it'll have chloroplasts. It'll have these organelles that do photosynthesis. 
but besides these extra organelles, a plant cell has pretty much everything that the animal cell has as well. It'll have a nucleus, it'll have the rough ER, the smooth ER, the Golgi apparatus, and it'll have the mitochondria. And again, this is just a quick run through of the organelles and we'll have future videos where we explain more in depth how cells work.